Good morning cadets, this is your LC speaking, bringing you another playthrough and this time it's gonna be Star Trek Resurgence. Now this game was delayed a couple of times, I believe we should have, uh, or they planned it on 2022, like around October, November, can't remember the date. Then it had an April release date and afterwards they delayed it a month later. And here we are, freshly released, and I'm excited to see how how it goes and how the game is. Now, apparently, it is kind of like in the telltale telltale type of games, and I played a couple of them. I do know there's a Batman one, and I did play the Back to the Future telltale games. And I think a couple of more before the Back to the Future, but I can't remember which ones were. And I know there was a Game of Thrones one as well. I played a couple of episodes from that one, then I kind of forgot about it, so I have not finished it. And I'm just curious about this one. There hasn't been a, like a proper Star Trek game in quite a long time. I believe it may be... No, there was the Star Trek Legacy, I believe, and then it was Star Trek Online after after that. The Legacy one was way back, like 2007, 2008, and of course before that it was Star Trek Armada, which I still think it's one of the better ones out there. And yeah, and then we had Star Trek Online, nothing in between. So. When I found out they're gonna do another Star Trek game, and in this kind of style, I was like, curious. Uh, Star Trek is not just about explosions and ship battles. It's not like Star Wars. Star Wars has that, that covered. And I'm wondering how, f how the, op the options, the choices will impact the story. I don't know that even though you kind of have some choices, it's not exactly really that impactful in the Telltale games, but nice to see different ways that you can uh, approach some uh, things. Now, in terms of options, uh, apparently the volume is okay. I did drop a bit the music, the sound effects, and the dialogue volume I left it all the way up. Brightness hopefully will be fine, and these are all the options surprising but it is a telltale games so most is gonna be for the story that you're gonna watch it other than that I believe I mean I just checked the, some of the trailers but try to stay away from a lot of spoilers or what else like uh, how many episodes or how is the game split I do hope this is not like a episode one and then I'm gonna have to wait another month or two for the second episode and so so on I did not see anything about that who knows maybe if the game does good they're gonna make it a bit more episodic so to speak so yeah these are all the options screen resolutions full screen subtitles on all good so I did go ahead and uh, test it a bit to see how it goes but I have not done much, so I'm just gonna choose the first slot and no difficulty choices either. So I can't uh, drop down difficulty if it's too hard or bump it up. So we'll see how it goes. Therefore, let's go where let's go boldly where no one has gone before.
Captain's log, stardate 57931.4. The crew is restless. After spending too many months piecing our ship back together, we're finally about to venture out on a new mission. And the crew isn't letting this unprecedented ion storm slow them down. They're ready for something different. I know I am. Perhaps more than any of them. Fortunately, nothing ever stays the same. It's entropy. The nature of the universe. Change is inevitable. And while entropy says order gives way to chaos, in this case, change is good. Our new first officer is en route to the Resolute, Jara Rydak. I know she'll bring a welcome dose of new blood to the crew. Oh, all right. I believe that's one of the characters that you can play with. I know you can play with two characters, something, and our first interaction. If he chose, so... Thanks. No problem. I, uh... I'm not great with flying. But these little shuttles... are the worst. And yet you joined Starfleet? You don't like flying. And yet... you joined Starfleet. There's a reason I'm not a pilot. You should try it sometime. Hey, the crew is impacted by the things you say. Yep. We'll see how much that comes into Sorry, account. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little anxious. I hadn't noticed. I'm on my way to my first assignment. When we get to the starbase, I'm transferring on to the Resolute. Hey, what so do you know? I. Coincidence? I it think not. It won't be not. easy for Jara to step in at the 11th hour like this. If she's half the officer I knew she could become when she was a cadet at Starfleet Academy, she'll be the XO this ship needs right now. And kill the title screen. Right, so I'm seeing a Miranda, a Nova, the Steam Runner, Excelsior, and I believe that's a Centaur class. Okay. catch a glimpse to see what refit Miranda was is that that was a refit Not sure if it was I think maybe third generation refit right checking a security has yes, to move the only thing that I notice here if I turn around too quick I know the sensitivity for the mouse is a bit rough so hopefully I'm not gonna get dizzy or I'm gonna try not to do too many sudden turns a star base on the very edge of Federation space long way from home now yep because I can't run just yet Commander? I'm not usually such a nervous wreck, by the way. I actually did well at the Academy. Oh, yeah? Maybe you've heard of the Torvalon test? Sounds familiar. It's a tactical simulator that makes the Kobayashi Maru look like a picnic on Pintaris 5. Anyway, I finished in the top 20. Not just in my class. I, I mean, all time. In the history of the Academy. So... There's that. All right, that's impressive. Really? That's quite impressive. Good Thank job. You. It was tough. But you know, I set my mind to it and it paid off. Please place your hand here. Hold it there for a few seconds. I suppose I'm going to have to do this. Yep. 
Also, yeah, I kind of forgot that he did not notice my commander peeps. Oh, I have a ring? Commander Jara Rydek, first Welcome officer. Commander Rydek. Wait, you're Jara Rydek? You absolutely crushed the Torvalon test. You, you finished in what, like the top three? That would be me. <laughs> now I'm really... It, it's an honor to meet you, Commander. Sorry, I, I didn't realize before. I, I just came off the shuttle and was glad to be on solid ground. So the pleasure speak. is all mine, don't worry. The pleasure is mine, Ensign... P Paul Calloway. Good to meet you. I believe Commander Ermod is expecting you. He's in the concourse just ahead. See you on the Resolute. Okay, fine, Commander Ermod. I'm not gonna show his information. I guess not. Right, I believe, yeah, this is the pause menu. Ensign Callaway was grateful for Jara's sense of humor when he was nervous on the shuttle flight. And I believe this is the other character, Carter, that we can uh, control. Alright. Just wanted to see. I did not see a save option. How oh, it's the auto save. Take commander. Handling, or maybe I do have some save points, like consoles or something like that. Let me see here. Strategic application, command, tech center, exp expedite initiatives. All right. So uh, the different levels. It's like the 10 forward, more or less. If I remember my briefing, Commander Ermot is a Bolian, so I'm looking for someone with blue skin. I was about to say, yeah, I'm seeing a Bolian, but okay, okay. You're going to the Resolute too? Yeah, not the ship I was hoping for. Why's that? Well, you haven't heard? Some kind of accident. Their warp core overloaded. Oh, whoa. That's a big deal. I spent six months fixing it up. Was it the captain's fault? That's the rumor, yeah. Hmm, okay, a bit of insight with the ship. Also, yeah, this is, I believe, like Nemesis or Force Contact to through Nemesis uh, uniforms. And I think this is actually is after Nemesis, can't remember. Are you all right? Yeah, I, I'm just... Well, I'm not sure where my departure dock is. The Resolute's gonna leave without me. Look here. The Resolute is leaving from this dock. Ah, you're right. Nerves must be getting to me. No worries. It can happen to the both Thanks of us. Thanks so much, Commander. We've all been there. Where you want to check something and it's literally in front of you, but you can't see it. So let me guess, all these guys are looking generic. Oh, finally I can sprint. And uh, this is like the thing, like find, find the main character in the picture. And everybody looks the same. And you have the Bolian that you can uh, really notice over there. Although I see an Orion female as well. Oh, don't know what the guy with the red skin is. Hmm. Hello? Excuse me, have you seen a Bolian around here? Yes, sir. Right back there, near the replicator. Ah, there he is. Thank you. Happy to help, Commander. I mean... If there was more Bolians around here, I would understand, but... I don't know. I feel like that should have been... Have you seen Commander or not, or what his name is? Now there's, have you seen a Bol Bolian? He's like, literally he's like two feet away. You can see him normally. Starbase 128 has four docks. And I think all of them are in use. 
you know, I know it's the center class, there is a loot, uh, the Excelsior, and then it was the Miranda. Uh, maybe one dock is free, actually. It was the Nova that left. I'll replicate myself a meal once I'm on board. What do we have here? You know, like steak, onions, potatoes, uh, 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 actually garlic. Now, wait, it is Star Trek universe, so it might be Andorian garlic, I don't know, Tellurite, steak and all that kind of jazz. Excuse me. Hey, you hear the Resolute's getting a new first officer? Someone from the crew got promoted? No, get this. They're from a different ship. <laughs> Wonder how the crew feel about that. Yeah, it makes them look desperate. Is their crew that bad? Yeah, not a good look. Hmm. I really like the runt of the litter in terms of ships or reputation. Right, you're the only one left. Welcome to the edge of the galaxy, Commander Rydek. I'm Commander Jan Ermat, operations officer on the Resolute. Commander? Commander. <laughs> I hope there wasn't too much trouble getting here. This storm isn't making anything easy for us right now. I know conditions are less than ideal at the moment. It was a bit bumpy, though. It was a bit bumpy, but otherwise okay. Uh, my apologies. This storm is unlike anything I've seen before. We're grateful you were able to come fill our first officer vacancy at such short notice. From everything I've read and everything I've heard, we're lucky you were available to us. Coming from a premier starship and all. To our little research vessel. Hmm. What have you heard? What exactly have you heard about me? First in your class at the Academy. Received the Starfleet Award of Valor during the Dominion War. Ooh. Most recently, tactical officer and chief of security on the USS Endeavor. You've done your homework. Like I said, we're very lucky. There she is. The USS Resolute. She may not look like much compared to the bigger ships, but as far as science vessels go, she can more than hold her own. And she doesn't look so bad, considering six months ago, she was nearly cracked in half, venting plasma, fighting for her life. It was an accident? The equipment malfunction. An accident suggests fault, but no one's to blame. It was a planned test, but the warp core was pushed beyond its limits. It destabilized the dilithium, there was a runaway reaction, and the warp bubble deformed. We thought we could reach a higher resonant frequency, but... It was more than she could handle. Cost us our first officer and 22 of our crew. Mm, right. At the end of the day, we're all responsible for each other. That's what it means to be a crew. Yeah, sorry for our loss. I suppose there were some friends around there as well. I can't even begin to imagine what that must have been like for you. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. It does weigh heavy. There are some things you can't forget. Mm, let me guess. You lost anyone close? Did you lose anyone close to you? Too many. And to that I'll just say... You have big shoes to fill. Listen. I realize you've known Captain Solano for quite some time. And I'm sure you're ready to bring your best. But I should warn you that when the captain announced you would be the new first officer, there were those who felt it was a mistake, that he should have promoted from within. So you might want to tread lightly at first. Until they come to value your contributions as much as he does. I believe I can earn their trust, but yeah, I know the Trust feeling. is earned, and it sounds like I have my work cut out for me. But I plan on winning them over. I don't doubt that. I just figured it was better to know what you're walking into. Of course. Starfleet has assigned us a high priority mission to the Hotari region. I'll let the captain brief you on board. I know he's eager to see you. 
Will we be mission ready in time? We have every intention. The crew has been working around the clock to get the ship ready. There's still so much to do. All right. I think that was an auto save over there. All right, the game said, yeah. Jara made a good first impression with Commander Ermat, coming off as shrewd and inquisitive while showing empathy for what the crew of Resolute suffered. And yeah. I I kinda get the gist what uh, he said about you know uh, should have been a promotion from within. It's always uh, a bit difficult when you have a group at work, for example, and you've been there with the group for many many years and you you feel like somebody deserves a promotion and then someone from outside is getting hired you know all right uh i think that was a not to save i suppose that was the thing for it oh i believe this is the other character then <sighs> Stuck. I got just the thing. Oh, feeder stick, right. Find the plasma torch. Oh, it's written on it. Hyper spanner. Spanner does almost everything, except what I need right now. Okay. Now, I need to melt some corrosion, not just a plasma injector. I don't need to rewire the optical data network. I just need to burn this gunk off. Okay, of course he's the last one but good that I can uh, <laughs> check to see all right we have a bit of mini game ah nice that's one off Yes, I'm gonna have to spin it. Ah, is that? Ah, the Lord X. Is this actually how we have the episodes? Split? I thought that thing was totally fried. Work Carter. Nothing to it, Millie. And not a moment too soon. The boss wants us down in engineering. Like, now. Okay, can I look around quickly? Yes, I already know about the run. Hey, Diaz, have you seen a hyperspanner around here? I last saw it near the shuttle, uh, Tarmigan. I'll let you know. A bit of a side quest? Come on! Or... <gasps> nice. <laughs> okay, we have small events around here. Okay. If that's, uh... Carter Diaz! Yeah, yes, I'm on my way. The erosion in there was pretty extreme. Nothing I couldn't handle, though. Hurry up! Hey, Diaz, have you seen a hyperspanner around here? I last saw it near the shuttle, uh, Tarmigan. I'll let you know. Right. Uh, I guess one of these shutters. Anyway, I'm gonna put a pause over here and yeah.
we were playing as the other character. So I'm gonna leave it here for this the first episode. I'm gonna try and see. Maybe I'll split per episode. That's in game. I suppose this is this next episode because it's called the lower decks. And we'll see where we go from there. Depending how long it takes per episode. If they're a bit more shorter, maybe I'll include one or two episodes per per recording. But I'll have to see. But for now, okay, so far I'm interested. Feels like Star Trek so far. And we'll see what other mini games we have later on and all that. So hopefully enjoy this first episode guys for this playthrough and I'll see you next time. But as always, don't forget, take care.